Hey there, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can hard reset, also known as a factory reset, your Apple iPad Pro M4. Let's go. Welcome back to the video. My name's Sergio and in this channel I make life-saving tech videos. So if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you want an epic custom phone case like these for your phone, there's going to be a link down below in the description. And with that being said, let's jump right in. All right, so I'm going to show you two ways to hard reset your Apple iPad Pro M4 2024. All right, so first I'll show you how to do it through the settings. So in case you could get into your iPad, it's much easier. But in the event that you have a password and you forgot it, you can't get into it, or you've put it in wrong too many times and it is disabled, okay, by doing the second method of this hard reset, uh, you'll be able to erase everything on your iPad back to factory condition and you'll be able to start using your iPad normally again. All right, so let's jump right in. All right, so first I'm gonna show you how to do it through the settings. So we're gonna go ahead and find settings. Here in settings, you're gonna look for general. And then here, once you're in general, it's going to be the option all the way down here. It says transfer or reset iPad. So we're gonna select that. And uh, here we're gonna select the option all the way at the bottom, uh, which is erase all content and settings. All right, so let's select it. And then here it is just letting you know that everything will be erased on the iPad. Okay, so I recommend you back up anything that you want to keep if you can, because uh, you know this will erase everything and put your iPad back to its factory condition. Once you're ready, hit continue. Here it asks you to confirm again. It says, are you sure you want to erase everything uh, once you're ready, hit erase iPad. It's gonna ask you for your password, put that password in, and the hard reset process will begin. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to do it in the event that you have a password and you can't get into it, or your iPad is already disabled from putting in the password wrong too many times. Okay, so how we do this is also very simple. So all you're gonna have to do here is, you are gonna need a computer. It could be either Windows PC or Mac. If you have a Mac, it already comes pre-installed. Okay, if you have a Windows, you're gonna have to download iTunes. Okay, so all you're gonna have to do is make sure that your USB cable is connected to your computer and then connect it to your iPad. All right, um, once it is connected like this, Okay, so how we're gonna do this is we're gonna press volume up, volume down, and then we're gonna press and hold the power lock button until the iPad shuts off. Once it shuts off, we're gonna release it, and then we're gonna press and hold both the volume up button and the power lock button. All right, so let's go ahead and do that now. So volume up, volume down, press and hold the power lock button. Once you see the iPad shuts off, we're gonna release and press and hold volume up and the power lock button. Okay, so release and then press and hold. And then once you see this icon here on the screen connecting to the computer, uh, we can release because it is in the iPad restore mode. All right, so we should get this message right here. Uh, as you can see, it says a software update is required to connect to Sergio's iPad. So here you're just gonna select install so we can install that update. So it is gonna take some time because first it has to download uh, the entire iPad OS. Okay, that it's gonna reinstall into the iPad to perform the hard reset. Okay, so we're gonna give it some time here and let it download all the way. In that time that it's downloading, your iPad may leave the restore mode. So it may go back to this screen. So all you have to do here is just repeat that process once again. Press volume up, volume down, and then press and hold the power lock button until the screen shuts off. And then once it shuts off, hold power lock button and volume up once again until the uh, iPad restore mode appears. There you go. So I'm holding uh, both volume up and power lock button. Once you see the connect to the computer icon here, you can let go. And on the computer, we are going to get this message here, as you can see. And it says there's a problem with the iPad that requires it to be updated or restored. Okay. So here we're going to go ahead and select restore. And here we're going to hit restore and update. Okay. So here it's just giving us a message that the update is going to fix different bugs in the previous uh, software. So hit next. And then here, uh, just confirm by selecting agree. So now it's actually downloading the software update for the iPad. So this is going to take another couple of minutes. So let's just give it some time for it to download it completely. All right, so as we can see, we are almost done uh, downloading that software. Only two minutes remaining, it says here. Um, so I just wanna record so I can show you guys uh, what happens after 
the software is completely downloaded. So as you can see here, it's extracting the software. Once it downloaded, it jumped immediately to this screen right here where now it's extracting the software from the iPad. And then it's gonna install the updated software that was just downloaded into the iPad. And then uh, the iPad will be completely uh, erased back to its factory condition. So let's give it a couple of seconds or a few minutes here for it to complete all these processes. And as you can see here on the iPad, it uh, turned off and now it's turning back on. On the computer here on the Mac, it says preparing iPad for restore. And as you can see, the loading bar with the Apple logo now came up on the iPad. So we have to wait for it to completely load up all the way. So now it's uh, restoring iPad firmware. And then now it's restoring iPad software. So as you can see, restoring iPad software reached the end and now it's verifying iPad software. And here, uh, the loading bar is almost completely done. And there we go. Once it's done, it's gonna give you this message. Uh, your iPad has been restored to factory settings and is restarting. Please leave your iPad connected. It will appear in the sidebar after it restarts. So there you go, it should be booting up now. So let's give it a few seconds. All right, so as you can see, the iPad has booted up and uh, it's at the initial setup of the iPad here. Uh, so here you just have to go through, you know, all of the setup settings here and you can start using your iPad normally again. So two things that I do want to let you know that are very important is that if you're using an outdated version of Mac OS, if you're doing this reset process on a Mac, you may want to update the Mac OS on that Mac to the latest one because I was doing this reset process on an older version of Mac OS and it was not allowing me to download uh, the update software for this iPad that it requires to do the reset. But once I updated the software on the Mac to the latest one, then it allowed me to uh, download the proper software that is required to uh, do the factory reset on the iPad, okay? The second thing that I want to mention that is also important is you should use a high quality USB type C cable. The, the original OEM one that comes with the iPad is recommended. However, if you have a high quality one, it should work perfectly as well. But just two things to keep in mind, and that's pretty much it. That is how you hard reset, also known as a factory reset, your Apple iPad Pro M4 2024. So smash that like button if this video helped you out. That's all that I ask. Comment down below and let me know if it did. And that's all for this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. As always, peace.